Let's do this. Boom. Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. I'm actually today in Utah. I think we're in, uh, where is it? Is it Heber? Heber City? I think Should it is Heber. Real close yeah. to Park City. Park City. There we go. There he goes. Yeti is joining ah, us. Yeti. And I've got my friend Sean from WLS behind me. He's, why are you hiding, Sean? Oh, wow. That is, see that guy right there? He's evil. <laughs> that is, that's that actually, is the face of evil. That's true. Let it be known. <laughs> Let it be known. Listen, today we're talking about adventure rigs. That's what we're talking about in this video. And I have Yeti is here. This is his rig. You guys call it, what is it? You're calling it an adventure rig, right? Yeah, it's the Work Ready Adventure Ready DZ Z71. Exactly. So it's built off of a Chevy yep. Z71? Yeah, so it's a 2020 okay. Silverado. Okay. It's, the interesting thing about this pickup is it's the 1500 Z71 4x4 HD. The heavy uh, duty is for the new baby Duramax. So it has a 3 liter inline 6 turbo diesel. There you go. Pretty awesome. So the baby turbo diesel. We're going to get into that and much more right now. Let's do it. <laughs> And the battery starts flashing. Let me change the battery Cash's right done. now. Perfect time. Yeah. Let's let's get let's uh, here we go. Yeah. Here's Yeti. You guys should have seen me do. We did like that Jeep walk around. Mm -hmm. Was that two years ago? That wasn't last year. Yeah, 2020's wiped. Yeah. So, that's so two years ago. Yeah. So why are we here in Utah? We are doing the Brownells summit social summit 2021 mm -hmm. and we've got yeti and yolo somewhere here we'll, i don't know if we're going to be lucky enough to no, see her that's... we've got my friend adrian from cigars and guns what's up right there yeah. and obviously i don't know who that guy is we're not friends yeah, yeah. can you unfollow in real life <laughs> like to block? yes <laughs> block and restrict there's a way but we won't talk about it on camera <laughs> yeah, that's premeditated right yes exactly right, we'll exactly stop there. Let's stop yeah there. so we're doing the social summit with brown and that's why we're all here having fun uh, doing different cool adventures mm -hmm. like, did you guys have c come in here why are you guys over there come see the people come on in it's the yet I come think on. it's I think it's the come yeti on mask. Sean there you go no, yeah there you go close, come on that stuff's sticky people think I'm just up here by myself no yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up here with there's these the dudes yeah. Sean's hiding there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing this there's way more guys and it's completely rowdy and it's a lot of fun we did a train ride yeah yeah Yes, on the Heber uh, Creeper. The creeper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, you know, and there were people, I didn't even put Heber Creeper on there, and the people were like, oh, that's the yep. Heber Creeper. Yeah. That, oh, that train was full of people that uh, Cuomo was sending to a retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. the train of death. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. So, that, okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> yeah. But listen, okay, so we're going to talk about your adventure. This is actually on, look at, look at the look at that. Look at the hoodie. Believe me. So that. I'm not cool enough to do that myself. That, that is gift. right there. Look at that. I mean, what's the deal with that? So it's the Baby Duramax, mm -hmm. little Baby D. It's a three liter inline six turbo diesel in a light duty truck, which is pretty rad because then it becomes a little bit of a sport truck and we ran with that theme when we did the suspension and stuff like that. Okay, so, so. four by four, how many horsepower? Oh man, some of it. It's mm -hmm. torquey, I don't know the numbers, okay. but, I, but I will say um, I run LS in pretty much everything that I build and the reliability, the torque, the drivability, it's there. I'm a believer in diesel now. Okay. So it's my first step into the diesel builds and I'm absolutely in love You're with all it. in. Yep. Okay. Yep. You're, um, so let's start from the outside, the go around and then mm -hmm. go inside. Should we start with the rims? Where do you yeah. want to start? Let's start in the front. Okay, let's start in the front. Nose on it. So, so we see, the, can we see under, under the hood? Yeah, we'll get under there. Okay. So one of the fun things about a build like this is, A, it's a, a new platform, right? Mm -hmm. it's a Silverado with a small diesel in it. Mm -hmm. That allowed me to be one of the first to start to put together parts from the aftermarket on a rig that just ain't out there yet. So right. we, we adopted the worn uh, Ascent bumpers that they're running on the Silverados, but not with the intercooler package and the okay. diesel and stuff. So when I went to put the uh, winch bumper on it and winch, I had to re-engineer like the, the ducting and everything for the intercooler to make accommodate for that just because worn haven't even got their hands on a truck like this yet so. so this is a so this is a worn the whole thing is worn mm -hmm. or just uh so the bumpers a uh, worn ascent right okay. and then we paired that with their uh 12k still cabled you see vr evo, evo. evo winch yeah so 
I'm, I don't foresee doing a bunch of winching in this. I have rigs that I put myself yeah. in sticky situations that I do winch a lot. Right. But it's still a big old truck that's going to be in the middle of nowhere, so I wanted to be able to self-recover. Okay. So. And anyone who has one of these and they want to do it, mm -hmm. there's now a solution for exactly. that, right? Exactly. For the first yep. time? Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the first time that's been on there, and we paired it with some ambers from KC, their, their C, their Cube Series. Mm -hmm. and the nice things about ambers, and I preach the gospel, ambers cut dust really good in bad weather. Mm -hmm. uh, the light that they create is super good for drivability at night and stuff like that, you know, casting shadows and stuff like that. So I went ahead and threw a, a set of those in there. Very nice. Um, one of the fun things before we pop the hood that I like, obviously the wrap's really cool and you can see the work ready, yeah. adventure ready theme that we <laughs> came up with. YOLO did a wonderful job. Right, uh, what is this, a hammer and an ax? Yeah. Yeah. Job site to campsite, baby. Yeah. So. And uh, then uh, like, Topography, yeah, what do you do? She did the, the topography on there. Okay. That's just a nice background, right? Yeah. You can kind of see it's a little wider than normal. I teamed up with Fiberworks down in San Diego to create a wide body kit for this. Oh, okay. So, you know, completely inappropriate things to a brand new truck. I cut the bedsides off, you know, <laughs> through uh, super flared out fiberglass fenders. I yeah. didn't realize that this mm -hmm. that was a kit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, it accommodated for the suspension and wheel package that I wanted to run. I wanted to kind of get a little bit fatter stance uh, and kind of try to keep the wheels inside the fender well so mm -hmm. I have a bunch of throw up on it. Mm -hmm. So we went with the Icon uh, upper arms, their coil over reservoir system, mm -hmm. adjustable. So if you guys can see that, yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And then paired them with, you know, he doesn't like the burnt bronze style wheels. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So this is a equivalent to a 35 inch tire on here. We're running the Toyo okay. uh, Open Countries, which is super well mannered on road. Um, really rad when you air them down and try to do a little bit off-road stuff. They work well. They clean okay. out well. They get good traction. So that's nice. Yeah. Let's pop the hood. So, like I said, it has the Duramax three-liter in it. Duramax Little diesel. spooly boy back here. Yeah. You know all that stuff. You so what, like a single turbo. Yeah, on this, right? single okay. turbo in line mm -hmm. six, I believe. Um, okay. Really haven't gone into it too much as far as power mods mm -hmm. it just works well okay we, we do have plans for like a, a tuner and an exhaust system and some stuff like that but okay. right now we're just sorting it out we're running it and yeah. we're going to figure out what we need yeah you can see we have the bantam s pod system in this super good system um it, what does that what does the um what does that do so this would be the landing pad to, to get power uh for all our electrical systems oh i like, see you know lights like i talked about the yeah. ambers and yeah i have some so that's lights. controlling everything mm -hmm. this is where you get your power from mm -hmm. and then inside i'll show you the, the oh, okay interface, cool okay the, the touch interface but right. look how i mean it, not super fits sanitary in. but yeah. it fits there and it, it isn't yeah. wacky or anything okay. so yeah listen this is how it's supposed to be right mm -hmm. do you pay extra for all the dirt yeah well some <laughs> <laughs> it definitely costs there <laughs> some money to get that dirt on there but but yeah I no mean, that looks good for okay. a sema build we keep it dirty yeah you know that's the way it should be man when we i know when i'm at sema and i want to get under there i'm going to be more impressed that this was actually out there <laughs> doing stuff yeah i think like that then something that just got built yeah we're we're anticipating having like at least twenty thousand miles on it before we even rolling into SEMA so Sweet. Okay. it's gonna be a, a good so year. it's not taking a trailer to SEMA no sir okay. it's already been cross-country a couple times so oh, we will cool. do a slight refresh on it kind of sort some stuff out mm -hmm. we learned on it but other than that it's gonna be a real deal truck yeah have you put have you done any uh, videos on your own stuff yet about this no you know I really haven't other than like IG okay. uh, type posts yeah. and stuff but this will probably be the real introduction to youtube or something somebody could search and yeah. take a look at it yeah so absolutely I'm I'm yeah excited. and and then yeti has his own channel that will do you know the name of your channel yeah the man called yeti the man called yeti. yeah Bo find me find me yeah. on all the platforms that way yes i'll put links and everything in here to yeti and yolo um i like how the lights look is, so this is how this truck is, right? Yeah. I kind of like the eyes yeah, here, kind of like it, squinting. And yeah. then they have the three across, which is really rad. So you have your running lights and your highs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they have the ambient LED lights that run just running lights on mm -hmm. it. And it's kind of sinister, really kind of rad looking in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. They're accentuated with the flared body though. Yeah. Because typically this would be super tight, man, and not so yeah. fat. And I, I will probably, I've decided to kind of black this out. That's what I was going to yeah. say. The only yeah. thing I don't like, I love the uh, black bow tie on it. I wish the rest of it was all blacked out 100% agree. Yeah. Get 100. rid of that chrome. Yeah, it won't get you home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all so right. little, little refreshes before semen. That'll yeah. be one of the things you'll probably notice. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. 
So we looked at the suspension, wheels and tires. Yeah. Uh, another Casey product that I'm super happy about and it's fairly new in the last six, eight months is their uh, Flex 4 Series lights. So that goes, that's mounting somehow yeah, under your hood. that's a DZ product. So they have these oh, wow. pillar mounts and when you pop the hood, this rises with the hood. I it's want not this on my van. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I, I think, can see I think this I know on the van, guy. right guys? That would look so yeah, bad. Sure, man, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> that guy again. Did you bring yeah, that guy? I'm telling you. Adrian, disappear uh, with that guy. And <laughs> you know what to do when we're off scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so these look the, good. The Flex 4s. And the neat yeah. thing about these, uh, a couple things, the aesthetics, these little billet rings, you can change colors out on them. Oh. But more importantly, they have tunable covers. So if you wanted flood flood or uh, mm -hmm. spot flood, you could change the lens out and that's okay. part of a kit that they sell, which is really handy because you could buy one light, mm -hmm. tune it to your rig. Like to if what we you need. You get some on that, yeah. tune it to it and you could say, hey, I'll, I love the flood pattern mm -hmm. and I like the spot to kind of brighten up the center. Right. Okay. Or you just need all flood because you have adequate lights from the factory uh, or whatever that is. Yes. I highly suggest no, That these. does not have adequate lights from no, the factory, but I'm with you. What does? <laughs> what does? But uh, I was yeah. telling Sean earlier, one of the neat things. Sounds good, man. <laughs> One of the neat things. <laughs> Sean is that. such a trouble. People named Sean are a problem. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I you know. Do you see how long he lingered with the? Yeah. It's all good. He knows. He knows. He knows. <laughs> One of the fun things, though, with working with the Flex 4s is I quickly realized I don't need a ton of lights on this rig with mm -hmm. the ambers, the factory, and then these. Yeah. Most people, when they see the rigs I build, this immediately looks, think I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah, <laughs> I know. The that's, sheer yeah. amount of lights I put on my rigs. Here, yeah. there, on the side, so, underneath. Yeah. So we're, with this getting daily driver duty um, mm -hmm. and then adventure duty, mm -hmm. I need light in the outdoors, right? Where there's just no street lights or anything like that. Okay. They're doing good, but really I haven't had a reason to add more lights yet so okay that should speak yeah. something about the lights. so when you need it your philosophy is if you need it mm -hmm. then you add it yep okay yep. Yep. all right I'm not a cake dresser I don't yeah. just pour that stuff on there I try to have some function for it before it goes on yeah so, understood yeah form okay form but yeah uh, I mean maybe step back and look at the wrap yeah so this wrap is really cool let's yeah. see here let's I'm gonna get back here a little bit so you guys can see it um and there's a lot of little um, like Easter eggs, Easter right? eggs, yeah. yeah, built into this. So the, um, the theory of that was, and the fun part of the whole mm -hmm. build was, uh, you know, work ready, adventure ready. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to do is, I mean, man, represent the whole country, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. we start on the East Coast in New York. You can see yep. the Brooklyn Bridge and the skyline. Yeah, let's go in here real quick. Yeah. So yeah, Statue of Liberty. Uh huh. The right skyline. There. Yeah. All kinds of fun things like King Kong. Yeah, Empire and, State. Yeah, Kong, you can see all yeah. the fun stuff. And then you work. Yeah, and you start working your way to the Midwest. And mm -hmm. uh, we operate out of Iowa. And one of the coolest things about that is kind of highlighting the Made in America, the Heartland stuff. Right. And that's here with the Field of Dreams go. and yeah. a little Iowa. Yeah. Buried and in I there. saw a ton of these turbines on the road. Yeah, yeah it's very, which was, which was really very cool. realistic. Yeah. The Let me tell you, the I've been lost in the cornfields <laughs> of Iowa, dude. This place so much. It explains so much. I'm Hank. telling you. That's where you got the strange and Hank Strange. Huh? This happens to me, man. Sounds good, man. Uh, oh boy, Adrian, you're supposed to have taken care of that guy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, look, we, see, we see some buffalo. Yeah. Uh, brown owls. A brown owls right brown there. Owls. Boom, boom. Uh, you know, the, I go by Yeti, so we had to There's put a couple Yeti. of Yetis in there, and then. And who's on? The, who's on this? Uh... Next level. These guys are just uh, a team that we work with in Sledden. So you'll see these guys. You'll see kayak yeah. bass fishing, Chad Hoover. Oh, it's just yeah. some love to a lot of the yeah. partners we have with DZ. There's a lot of detail in this yeah. wrap, man. Yeah, it's just um, fun. It's kudos just so fun. to Yolo for that. Yeah. I mean, the Yeti has a shadow. <laughs> but look at this. Yeah, Yolo. I, she's I, in there. I think uh, DZ threw some fun stuff in there made sure yeah. she got a little bit of love um, so it works its way to the pacific northwest and you see mm -hmm. like seattle and the redwoods and, yeah and then the back is like you know show some love to some of the sponsors for sema and things like that right but absolutely it's a fun a fun way to shout end out it. to everyone at sema the brown house mm, nothing it's but love be, uh, uh dc tell us a little bit about um dz real quick here man i'd love to uh dz is just one of those companies it's family owned it's made in america products and know it or not a lot of their products are on all the oe uh rigs that you see from the lot you'd be running boards uh roof racks things like that you name a manufacturer they have a department 
making those products for OE here in the U.S. and Iowa. So mm -hmm. it was a great pairing for us. We're in Iowa. Brownells is in Iowa. Mm -hmm. DZ is as well. So, um, man, I, I can't tell you enough. If you don't know about DZ, go check out some of their toolboxes and truck accessories. And they've really kind of branched out into the Overland Adventure market, too. Mm -hmm. So if you want really cool modular hex series type stuff that you can see on the trailer, mm -hmm. um, rack systems, the yeah, stuff that we built for Let's it. go into the back here. Yeah. Um, I'll put the, I'll put like the gate you, down for yeah, you. Yeah, let's put the gate down. Well, first of all, one of their rad things is this kind of cutting board surface here that DZ is making for pickups oh, now. okay, that didn't come with this. No, so oh, they, cool. they, they make these for all the big manufacturer uh, rigs, and my gosh, I'm cleaning fish on this, I'm prepping right. food at camp, um, mm -hmm. also breaking down my AR and mm -hmm. kind of sorting some stuff out on cool. it, and it it's just handy, right? Mm -hmm. The factory stuff that comes on here is this really wacky plastic bed liner mm -hmm. it's just not good to sit on or put stuff right. on so okay that's fun that's cool um another dz product is yeah, this, this. Is a slide out that yeah has this fridge on it yeah so we or... put the snowmaster fridge freezer on there and this is a dz like prototype slide and the nice thing about this um unfortunately right now it's kind of all in here wonky but it mm -hmm. slides out and then without the trailer on here mm -hmm. it'll drop down low so oh, that maybe somebody short comes out and down and drops and hangs down oh. here so you could reach in and get in there oh cool but um, okay yeah Oh, that's that's cool, man. You know, so. It's almost like what the uh, ambulances do. Or exactly like that. Like right? that yeah. Okay. Sweet. So, yeah. Um, we use our top sliders. One of the nice things when I teamed up with DZ to build this truck was they gave me access to all their parts and materials that they have at their warehouses. And first thing I fell in love with was their top siders, and these mm -hmm. are traditionally found on a, a work truck. Mm -hmm. But what we went ahead and did is we started to fabricate the system here where I made mounts. Okay. Tabs and I put. So this is all prototype stuff, right? Yeah, now. it's all okay. one-off stuff from my shop. But, but right now, right now, and okay. then DZ's, man, they're always paying attention, and they know mm -hmm. that the aftermarket wants stuff that functions more mm -hmm. than anything else. So mm -hmm. I could see that their their wheels are turning, and stuff will start coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure from it. Um, I I took the toolbox and turned them into both the work ready, adventure ready okay. mindset, and made it so that you can run a Dakota lithium power system on it. Yeah. You know, you have your inverter. Victron. Yep. Nice. And uh, what my mindset with this was, if you're at the job site during the week and you need to charge up your impacts, drills, mm -hmm. all that stuff, you can run a, put your chargers on here and have all your battery power mm -hmm. being charged. Right here, so yeah. yeah, that's actually cool. Yeah, you know, drive yeah. controller from Zap. Um, yeah. You've got so you've got a, a 100 amp, just one of these. Yeah, here so on the rig? Uh, it okay. will have two 100 okay. amp hour Dakota lithiums. Right now, we're currently right. running one because I wanted to sort some stuff out in the other box, which we'll look at. And then up, okay, and then yeah. upgrade it from there. Yeah, and go okay. from there. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, I mean, this is a total loss system as it sits. Mm -hmm. I don't have a panel or anything on it, and it's not mm -hmm. charging from the alternator. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to do like a week with my fridge and stuff off of this with really? zero issue. Off of a hundred amp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and then Yolo, good. she's she's a digital chick, so she's mm -hmm. always on her laptop editing, doing yes. stuff. <laughs> At camp, she just puts her laptop right here and she does the standing desk thing while it charges off the system. Oh, cool. Which is really handy and cool. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So and I. It's I, awesome what these batteries do nowadays. Man. Man. I'm just really impressed. I feel like a dinosaur. I was using yeah. AGM up until about six yeah. months ago, and once I got turned on to this stuff, I won't go back. Yeah, I was using AGM until about, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago. <laughs> My man, we're both barely walking upright at this point. <laughs> yeah, Welcome man. to the future. Yeah, lithium oh, is yeah. it. That's Gosh, the way to go. I'm a believer now. I was like, ah. I saw the price tag. I was like, ah, yeah, no all thanks. the way in. But I mean, yeah, half I mean, the weight. Yeah, half the way. Last three times as long, maybe. Yeah, you know? and, and real quick, like the AGMs, you can only run them down to a, a, mm. about 50% of the battery, and you can't even, you know, you can't do that that often before it doesn't yeah. You're flat uh, right now. charge. Yeah, yeah. but uh, lithiums, you can run down to yeah. zero. Yeah, and it's much. power there till you need it, until yeah. it's gone. Yeah. So that's a big deal. And then, I mean, being weight conscious about my rigs typically mm -hmm. because I actually get out and use them, it really is a plus to have something that gives you a super powerful punch of power, mm -hmm. but doesn't kill you on weight. Absolutely. And if you're starting to float it up, I mean, it's pretty high up on the yes, rig. Yes, it is, yeah. But, I mean, man, I can lift this in and out with one hand, which is amazing. Right, you yeah. You know, the AGMs, I used to have to actually do something. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Okay, so, very cool. So yeah. that's what's on this side. I noticed you have lights over here, too. Okay, so this these is are also, yeah, uh, little KCs, yeah, if yeah. you look at them. I use these as just little camp lights, like spotlights. Yeah. Like or if you're over here, back here, yeah, working in the yeah, dark. Or, or, yeah, just sorting mm -hmm. it out at the house, even, all right? You can mm -hmm. spotlight something and take a look mm -hmm. at it, but really handy stuff. Um, we that's went cool. long with the Hex series. 
and we have the tent up there and, and the idea with this rack being uh -huh. so long and stuff and all yeah. these little DZ attachments is we like to uh, go fishing on kayaks we like to bring toys with uh -huh. us we don't always have a tent up there because we have the option to put it on a trailer or right. put it on another rig so that rack then becomes, you could put ladders on it. You could haul lumber, you can haul okay. tubing, stuff for work. Yeah, whatever you yeah, end up needing. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, it's really modular. That's a good idea. Really I see. Modular. And that just comes right out to like about, the, you know, yep. where the where yeah. the vehicle bumps yeah. out. Okay. What I like to do is keep it within the mirrors, right? Okay. So if your mirrors are going through it, the rest of your you can, truck you can pass slide through. through. Yeah. Um, I like these, the grab handles. Yeah. yeah that's the next thing I was so, going to. Playing with DZ's warehouse, I found that they made a bunch of Jeep and Overland accessories. Mm -hmm. This is actually the A-pillar grab handles for the Jeep JKs and JLs and JTs. Oh, okay. And being on these tracks, I mean, these are their little, you know, holders. I'll, we have like s beaners on our backpacks, so when we get to camp, we hook our backpacks here mm -hmm. or we hook our Step 22 mm -hmm. bathroom kits and then this yeah. deploys, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden everything's kind of convenient. You don't yeah. have stuff in the dirt, so. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I appreciate I that. I like that. I like I like how you thought about this. Obviously, you've built a yeah, few rigs. Yeah. I've been known. <laughs> I've been known. In your time. So you've had a lot to think about. So from this side, I'm seeing kind of like a molly. Yeah. So like a, uh, is that steel? That's aluminum molly, so right? So this is actually steel. Oh, okay. um, these are prototypes. And mm -hmm. the tray system I made for the top siders, uh, we teamed up with DZ, and they came up with this really rad fold-down rear top cider molly kit and that's you cool. can see we start putting shovels i have axes yeah uh, i do like really wacky the stuff bungees B bungees for tie downs that's yeah. like a magnet fishing kit so whenever yeah. we're at old bridges we <laughs> magnet fishing and stuff like that yeah um, yeah that that's this is really cool so this also is not out this is not yet uh, okay. not yet i don't believe okay um the neat thing about it though, mm -hmm. you know how kind of wacky it is to attach stuff to that sometimes? Yeah. The Molly? Yeah. Um, these little wing nuts here, you unscrew them and this thing pivots down and you can work from the backside on oh, it as well. So okay. it's handy, it's you, meant you to be can used. get in there, yeah, yeah and, and yeah. get things uh, down tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I used one of DZ's products there, that's a transfer tank. And that's an auxiliary oh. diesel fuel tank of 40 gallons additional fuel. Wow. And what I did is I actually went through the inner bedside and plumbed that into the fuel neck and the def neck. Oh. So if I need fuel, I just flip a petcock and it self fills itself. So what's your total fuel capacity? Oh man, forty like gallons. 60, yeah, 70, a little something? more now, maybe almost seventy. Wow. I forget what the thing is, but yeah. with this small diesel, yeah. it really does work well and it's yeah. pretty damn efficient. That's That'll gotta get, get you, you some far. serious range. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's you're, probably you're pushing a, yeah, you're yeah. you're pushing a thousand miles out of a. a all together tank of gas. Yeah. Wow. So. Awesome. So you guys can really get out there. Yeah, I can stretch the legs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you don't carry um so you don't carry the the, the gas tanks then. Uh the you know what? Tanks. It's optional, right? Okay. I do have you some could. I okay. have some diesel cells that I'll I'll throw in here if we were really gonna do like a Baja trip or an mm -hmm. extended trip up north of the border mm -hmm. where you want to have fuel on board. Mm -hmm. I'd do that. But I mean forty extra gallons you're already, you know, one one and a half times factory uh, capacity. So Okay. Uh, a couple five gallon tanks and you'd really get somewhere yeah you know on top of that so you've got a rooftop tent yeah so that's we, dz also so that's a partnership with free spirit and dz okay. and they made an all white tent when this is deployed it's really rad kind of matches the truck oh, oh wow yeah. yeah maybe we'll pop that out later or yeah, something and yeah. take some look at well, it I'll, I'll at least roll in a picture yeah. or something yeah that'd like be that cool for that'd everyone cool. all right so what do we want to do do we want to show the trailer or well, we can look at it real quick but yeah let's look at the yeah. trailer real quick and then get inside yeah. of the okay. the truck so what we have behind it is just one of our this we've been beating around the country in this trailer for mm -hmm. maybe five six years Mm -hmm. And this is my gal's adventure trailer and it was made by an outfit out of Salinas, California mm -hmm. called Rockbox. It is exactly that. It was designed to be a box to hold gear, mm -hmm. none of the fancy extra stuff, and just take a beating off-road. Yeah, and you, yeah, you yeah. can get it off-road and yeah. do what you so need to do. What I did to kind of outfit it was mm -hmm. uh, throw a DZ box on here where we just hold, you know, my awesome. boxo tool kit, my kitchen wash tub, barbecue stuff, some yeah. Timbo tusks, scottles, and yeah. you know, general camping gear. Awesome. Nice lockable space. Yeah. Um, a Rome Adventure kit, uh, pin on it. Mm -hmm. The big thing is the most recent upgrade to this was the toolbox and the Hex Series rack. Mm -hmm. Before it just had a, a mild steel rack that was fab from the factory. And Although it worked, it wasn't aesthetically cool or modular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And going with the th same theme of being able to put other adventure or work gear on the trailer, mm -hmm. we went with that. So, so that is that something that people have ex access to? You know to what? Yet? Believe it or not, okay. I saw in their catalog and online that they mm -hmm. have like uh, rack kits or overland kits that you can kind of pick and choose oh, okay. as far as I know. But man, I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff just started to be sold by the foot because after I used it, I'm as many lengths of uh -huh. raw uh, 
hex series I can get, I grab because yeah. I like to put together all this stuff. Yeah, I think I need something like that for the transit. Yeah, that would be rad. Yeah, that would for be the rad. beyond behind me. Yeah, so got this, some got the BMX bikes. Yeah, um, very nice. Well, well, Cali style. Yeah, well, OG BMX. <laughs> That's all you, man. Yeah, twenty four. That's inch, so you. Monzas. I'll tell you what, it's fun. <laughs> to, it's fun to uh, crank around the campsite or yeah. up and down the trail on them. So yeah, I know, I know what that means to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we bitching, but yeah, the trailer, cool. the trailer's mm -hmm. rad. It's just a simple adventure trailer, you know. Yeah, doesn't have all the the kitchens and slides and stuff. No, it, it's great though, man. Inside's just a bunch of gear. Yeah, right? but Crates. it really extends what you can yeah. do. Yeah, you know, um, capability and, and wise, right, like this. Yeah. yeah. So let's see, what are we looking at? Let's look at this box here. What is this box? So have? another top sider from DZ, mm -hmm. and since we did the power system on the other side, mm -hmm. this is just kind of a utility utility side we got the Dakota lithium little you know charge oh, box that you okay you pull charge. out take yeah. with you yeah. behind that some more of the uh, Molly panels they slide on hex series in here I think there's a light I also ran some KC yeah th these are cool yeah you know and it's just we typically have like a, an axe and a hatchet in here yeah. I think it's in the box you now just, yeah you can just yeah. strap them down. this is my little what first. is in this what's this box -o? so box oh man there was a toolkit in there that you kind of mm -hmm. saw mm -hmm. And I was the guy that was buying the Home Depot mm -hmm. Husky tool kits to use as my go kits. Uh -huh. And then I discovered Boxo. And this uh -huh. is a work pad. This oh. is just something so you can get under, inspect, oh, cool. take, a, take a look at it. I and like then that. In partnership with their tool roll, which, my goodness, this thing is awesome. So, yeah, if you're working, you don't have to scrub your knees or. Yeah, it's just nice get to get out of I mean, it's wet today, right? Yeah, you can just scroll that down. I like that. Yeah, so. That's yeah. something I probably need to get a couple of. Yeah, you, this kit right here, uh, even if you're not super handy with a wrench, mm -hmm. this roll comes from from Boxo with, I mean, they sort it all out. It has patch kits for your tires. It oh, has. Cool. Do you have food in there? No, food's That's everywhere a patch else. Kit? That's a tire patch kit. <laughs> oh. You know, I mean, it has I'm zip just ties. Hungry. That's why I'm seeing food. <laughs> <laughs> we can grill, man. Let's yeah, grill. absolutely. So just all the oh, tools. Cool. So, so it's neat. Yeah, just your basic stuff. Yeah. It's everything you need to kind of patch it up and get it back yeah. on, on the So road. if you were recommending to people of what to put in their tool bag, just Bro. whatever they think they yeah. like to use, right? This is a great awesome. this is a great starter kit for that. And then I added additional like the JB welds and capes and things like oh, okay. that. But yeah, man. Yeah. It's bitching. That's cool. Oh yeah. So that you asked what that was. That's part of that kit. They oh, came I together. See. Yeah. So. No, that's a good idea. And uh, with this box, really. It's kind of a catch-all right now, but one of the biggest, nicest little upgrades for us is as much as we travel and how long we've been traveling, it's nice to have a hot water mm -hmm. on board, and that's what this base camp does for us, instant hot water heater I keep. So hot water on demand? On demand, baby. As it's uh, going through. Yeah, I just keep the hose and the shower head and the propane lines in this little bag, and then inside I have a water tank in there that we just plumb right to it at camp. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is a privacy shelter for okay. uh, like maybe a, a toilet or a shower space, mm -hmm. you know, get a little mm -hmm. privacy for the gal. And this just unzips and folds out, which is really rad. Okay. So, creates a nice shower space. Yeah, right? you don't need privacy. You just no, do I what just you need a, to do. just put a little bacon grease behind the ears in the morning. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, baby. We're good. She's fighting them off after that. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. another, <laughs> another DZ product is... I got to really think outside the box and uh -huh. use stuff that really wasn't meant to be used uh -huh. in this fashion. And this was uh -huh. a work uh system oh. that typically went in the bed of a truck uh -huh. and you can see i have like extra bits and parts for stuff i'm doing yeah. you know my my uh worn controller for the winch and stuff like this yeah. the neatest thing about this hank is i i fab this whole system together you can see in here where i did like bracketry and stuff like that but check this box out if you're at the work site let's see if my little my fat sausage fingers will work oh you could pull that whole thing out and go to the job site let's see if i can oh. lock it and then that goes with you, right? Oh, that's cool. So, if, yeah, plus if, if you're not tall enough to um, see up there, you can just take it down and put it on the yeah, ground Sean, or something. We're talking to you, Sean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but. <laughs> so there that's a go. cool system. Yeah, that's cool. You know, cool. and it's pretty handy. It's lockable. Mm -hmm. um, I use hardware and stuff in it now because I actually do a little bit of tinkering and working out of this at the shop, mm -hmm. but. Really, it's a nice place. I'm gonna start doing like some tackle, fishing tackle, mm -hmm. and some stuff like that mm -hmm. for when we're out, uh, yeah. bouncing around. That's so, pretty cool, man. Kind of neat, um, right? Outside yeah. the box stuff. Yeah. What's uh, right here? A modular DZ 
uh, another hex series thing mm -hmm. that becomes a running board. If yeah. we were going to use rock it slides. like a rock slider, these just mm -hmm. clip out. Oh, they and you get rid of those things, and they're also adjustable. You can see I use one for back here. Wherever you need it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. Um, mm -hmm. DZ just makes their their whole mindset is modularity. Mm -hmm. And it really shows in that hex series stuff. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm surprised at how with. much stuff they make. I think, uh, like you said, right? I guess not everyone realizes how much stuff those guys make. Yeah, I think the bread and butter for them is the OE okay. stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're really just, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to tour the facility and just mm -hmm. see like the Ford section and the next brand and the next brand and it's mm -hmm. just massive. Mm -hmm. It's really rad that they slow down enough to mm -hmm. focus on the stuff that you and I would like to use yeah. as aftermarket. Yeah, very cool. You know, very cool. They're enthusiasts, so yeah. they make cool stuff. That always helps. You know. So uh, are we going inside? Let's go around. Let's, Let's go, go around. around. Yeah. Okay. Pop cool. the doors. Let's do that. Hey, sounds good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Those guys not working hard. So not another DZ hard. product that's a uh -huh. prototype and should be out, I believe, next year in 2022 mm -hmm. is the undersea oh, storage. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. The sombrero is optional yeah. and serapi, <laughs> but I don't go anywhere without that. Yeah. So this is their lockable undersea storage, and I obviously use it for my get-to wow. stuff. Okay. You know, I have my yeah. all my cameras and. Mm -hmm. Gear and Important, stuff like uh, uh, tools. tools and tools, necessities. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. I'm with easy you. to get first aid kit. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for wrenching, so I bring systems that I want to install on the truck at camp. Mm -hmm. So I got an mm -hmm. airbag system I'm getting ready to throw on here from Goodyear. This is cool. Yeah. Like so, this. what the neat part of this is, mm -hmm. we'll walk around the other side now and open mm -hmm. the same door, and I'll show you what it does. Oh, okay. So I slide that in, right? And there's always food. There's food in there. That's, Man, that's you don't get to look like this without food. <laughs> it's a machine. You just gotta feel. <laughs> yes. It. All the time, feed the beast. Yeah, baby. So with that under under seat storage, this is the same system, and it still pushes through. This is the same uh, box. So you could just go to the other side. Yeah, you and you can put long things. arms, things like that yeah. in here. It's lockable. It's steel, mm -hmm. uh, and it's nice. It's keyed. Mm -hmm. And when you have the door shut and locked, and then this locked, that that part of the no truck you're not see seeing. That. You're yeah. not seeing any People of that. People don't crap. realize you have anything. And, anything there. And more importantly, it organizes our crowd. Yeah. She'll get, she'll jump out of the passenger side. She knows she can get to what she wants. She right. organizes the side. I do that side and we're good. Yeah. No, that's that's very cool. So this is out already. About to be. About to be out. Okay, so Probably, by, C, by SEMA show. I'd say early spring next year. Oh, early spring. Tentatively, yeah. And okay, I do cool. I know that the more I show it on social, the more people want to know, does it fit a right. wrapper? Does it fit F1? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, it's usable. It's yeah. a functional upgrade. Right. It, it's not flashy, but it's cool and it's yeah. usable. No, every bit of room that you can get, especially when you're just spending so much time in these vehicles, whether working or living and living working out of it, is <laughs> it's important. so true. It's yeah. so true. And, you know, little nooks and crannies, you want to utilize them. Mm -hmm. uh, the modern trucks have a big dead space under there. There's the Yolis. Oh, What's up? We were just talking about it. I was yeah. coming to get something out of the truck. Uh, have you guys uh, checked out or talked about the space under here? We were just talking about that. Ooh, it's my favorite spot to hold stuff. And oh, you got to stuff with a few other things. Normally I have a few other bags in here, but really it's just kind of my catch-all for things that I need to get to quickly and not have to uh, have shoved in gear bags and cases mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. that I can just pull open and get as many things out of it as I need. And I have a portable blender that I carry oh, I travel see. with me. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. these stuff. are my little like, <laughs> yeah, like the only little reason you're seeing you I think it's the that. stuff yeah. she's hoarding yeah. from me yeah, that I have no that. idea she has. <laughs> Her Blinjet stuff, of course. Yeah. Well, when you eat a smoothie on the go, it's the right, it's the right call for the job. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Yolo. Yeah. Nice appearance. That was awesome. <laughs> so inside again. Uh, one of the few mods I did on the interior, it's a brand new truck, it's bitching. It doesn't need much, but mm -hmm. I mean, when you're camping or working, your seats get destroyed. So yeah. we have these Covercraft seat covers made of oh, cool. Carhartt. Nice. Front and rear. Yes. Man, that material, it yeah, just Yeah, Carhartt is awesome. It beads water off of it. Mm -hmm. And that's on all of the seats. Yeah, all the way around, yeah. even the center console. Mm -hmm. And believe me, we put it to the test already. Yeah. There's a lot of... Yeah, man. I know you're rough on stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm, they don't call me Yeti for nothing. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> The um, breaker of things. <laughs> yeah. That's so, great. Yeah, this is a great rig, man. I appreciate it. Let's yeah. look at the power system that we kind of peeked out under the hood yeah. and finalized that. Yeah. Okay. So that box that we were looking at under the hood connects back in Go here. up in there. You'll see it. Okay. And then... Oh, wow. I'll tap it. So the pod... There so that's go. a touch pad. Let's see if I can get it going. See it there? Right now I have my A-pillars that oh, we talked about. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, so 
digital switches instead of like old school switches. Right, right. Oh, I like Solid that. state yeah. stuff, really neat touch screen, cool. programmable, obviously, you know, you could hit your ambers that we talked about, or right. your, your B pillars, and you got eight slots there. It monitors battery temperature, life, That's all this awesome, pertinent man. information, yeah. right? So, and then you could just add things onto that. Once you've got it set up, you just plug and play with it. Yeah, stuff, so right? you plumb it originally, yeah. right? You get it mm -hmm. in, super, it is plug and play. It's mm -hmm. neat, because you can, it, as, tunable as getting the right length of mm -hmm. plugs pre-wired before you get the kit mm -hmm. so that you're not having a big spool of wire up under <laughs> the dash or some nonsense. Uh, no, I know. Um, I did it. something simple. I just used mm -hmm. a ram mount little system here. Oh, okay. Moves That's around, gets okay. out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, great kit. There's tons of great kits out there. The S-Pod, the Switch Pros, mm -hmm. all those. They're very similar. They all mm -hmm. work really well. And mm -hmm. for managing the accessories, the electrical accessories, it's the way to go. The, yeah. the days of running relays and cutting your wires yeah. and stuff, it works. This is peace of mind. I'm not worrying about like a chafe and a fire and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Simple. The truck's that's really, really cool. simple. Little the Snowmaster yeah. fridge. Okay. You know, so that's for the fridge. That. Okay. Yeah. I know if the, the lid's open. So is there any way that this can add to an app or this is only you can only control it through this unit right this one here yeah i think there is an app actually and okay then the fridge itself is just remote or, right or right yeah right no that would be cool if that was mm -hmm. also app capable like if you yeah. didn't have this but i'm guessing you could take this off and take it out with you or no it's no it's, it's hardwired here. here yeah uh, but okay. i do believe it, it does have an app oh that would be sweet you know, yeah so that you can get on your phone and you could turn on your lights from yeah if you're outside down. or moving around you don't want to come back there awesome other than that interior mods honestly it's a brand the new seats, truck yeah it works yeah it's not overdone uh one of the things i wanted to stay away from on this rig is flashy as it might look mm -hmm. being a sema build or kind of mm -hmm. a, a social media build it really is a functional build mm -hmm. this truck can go and go to work five days a week and take you out on an adventure with your family on yeah the weekend. and i'm it's really important to me this type of build I want it to show up proven to SEMA I don't want it to roll in there with Bluetooth drive shafts and yeah neon lights on the brakes right. and the guy it. out there who sees this he can get this yeah it's all yeah. Of it. it's all available and it's all yeah. DIY stuff too if it's maybe some of the DZ stuff that I like mm -hmm. mocked together and made work mm -hmm. that stuff is still accessible and doable mm -hmm. in, a, in a home garage mm -hmm. you know with minor welding capabilities yeah. on how to turn a wrench so yeah I really tried to stay true to that mindset on this build Awesome. Okay, yeah. let's go out here and wrap it up. In the wrap up here, let's start with the YouTube channel, which people will be going to now. Uh, the Man Called Yeti? A Man Called Yeti. Which one? The. The. The Man Called Yeti. The Man Called Yeti. <laughs> okay, that's where you guys go on YouTube and you find Yeti and he's going to be putting up more stuff, uh -huh. right? He's Video. my guru right now. Yeah. He's videos <laughs> we expect videos to be up there on that channel once a week baby. Let's fire that baby yeah up. uh listen man I, i'm really proud of you man you you do a lot of cool things i wish i had your skills and your ability I to make stuff that, Hank. i appreciate um, that. and i think if you guys dig into yeti's life you'll find it very interesting and uh motivational oh man i appreciate as well that. Yeah. so i really appreciate Brother, getting the chance it. to look at That's this good, rig man. love seeing Wait, you again what was that sean Sounds those good, man yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! You're the man! Multiplying, did water get on shore and now there's more of them? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like a <laughs> whole garden over here. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, this is my chan- this is my nice- this is my nice channel, Sean. The nice channel. I'm sorry, I meant- Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You- you- you guys- yeah, it's serious out there. It's real out here. But thanks so much. Make sure you check out Yeti as well as the Wild Yo. You're the you already have stuff on your YouTube channel. Yeah, right? I've got so, a couple videos up. Not yes. much, but so I'm there. rolling on mine too. Go there, subscribe to her to her channel, The Wild Yolo. Did I get it right? That's I love it, this guy. He's an awesome guy. So if you yeah. guys do, I don't know, maybe you jumped on his page recently and mm -hmm. don't know much about him, but keep following along because he's awesome thank you <laughs> yes he is i appreciate it i love you guys too all right guys make sure you hit the subscribe button check these guys out we'll have more cool stuff like this and more advanced stuff coming up um we're here in utah at the brownell summit and i'm out peace